What is going on guys, Tidwafa here, and welcome to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Now, we've already played some of the Crash Insane Trilogy here on the channel. We only played like the, the Crash 1 remake of that. Didn't get time to do the Crash 2 or 3, unfortunately, but I guess we're going to be jumping into Crash 4 today. And maybe maybe here in the future we'll go back and play 2 and 3. Hopefully there's not too much uh, that I'm missing out on here in Crash 4 by not playing 2 and 3. But either way, this is supposed to be like an actual sequel to Crash 1, 2, and 3, the original trilogy, which is really, really cool because after 3, there were like a bunch of other random games for like the PS2 and stuff. But the original PS1 trilogy of Crash is like the best of the best for Crash. So hopefully this can can uh, live up to the name of being Crash Bandicoot 4 and being an actual sequel to that trilogy. So let's just jump into it. There was an option. Maybe I'll show some footage of it uh, right before this menu screen where it said, hey, do you want to play on like modern mode or like retro mode? And retro mode is basically where you have like a set amount of lives. I mean, if you run out of lives, you have to redo the whole level from the start, but uh, modern mode, I think means you have like unlimited lives or something like that, I forget. I chose the retro one just because, you know, <laughs> maybe it's going to be a little bit more challenging and hey, maybe it'll be a little bit more fun because of that too. So anyways, without any further ado, let's just jump into Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time and it's about time we jump into it, you guys. Rude Awakening. What is this? Some sort of like volcano or something like that? What is that? Crash Bandicoot. At last, I, the great Neocortex, have you right where I want you. And now, the final blow! Hush, simpleton. Face it, Entropy. It's going to fail. Again! At least Uka Uka and I attempt to free us from this prison. I won't sit idly by and listen to your inane ramblings for another decade. Chew. Is he dead? Leave him. He served his purpose. <laughs> A great power has awoken. Crash? <laughs> I fear it portends an event of reality-shattering proportions. I feel it emanating from insanity peak. Quickly, we must go! Crash! 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 <laughs> oh, I think we're jumping into the- yep, we're in the game now, you guys. I believe it's running at 60 FPS, so I'm probably going to have to upload this in 60 FPS, you guys. Anyways, we got some boxes over here. Oh, there's like a circle underneath us when we jump. Ooh. I think it's like highlighting my shadow. Oh, and there's a double jump. Ooh. Can I get the sombrero? I can! <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, well... Oh, it's... Oh, it's gone already. Man! I guess it was only a temporary thing, but... Yeah, this is basically a tutorial state. Oh, oh, big hole in the ground. Don't want to hit that. And some crabs up here. Pretty sure we have to jump on them. I don't think we can spin jump... Or, uh, spin... <laughs> I, I mean, I was trying, I was trying to mythbust right there whether or not we could spin on them, but yeah, I guess you can't. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the sombrero bag, but it's probably going to get blown away again. Yep, it's gone. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you do have to jump on those crabs and kill them, so... I guess I'm glad I mythbusted that, just in case, right? <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. We got snipped up by them. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to get them. Hold on. Boom. Yeah, then we have to look at the shadow there, which is highlighted by a yellow circle, which is interesting. I want to see... Oh, God. There's like a boar. There's a checkpoint. I don't know if there's a way to... There may be a way to turn that off. I don't know, it's kind of obnoxious. Maybe we could actually turn it off and get a more retro feel without, it, like, highlighting the shadow. I don't know if it was in a, in, in the more modern games, or, a, you know, 2 and 3, if it had that weird highlight shadow thing. But I don't think it was in uh, the Insane Trilogy, so... I don't know. Crash! Quickly! We must go! Hold on, I gotta get some wump... <laughs> a bunch of wumpa fruit from this crate. <laughs> oh, hurry up! There you go, we got it. I've gotta get over... Oh, do not hit that... Oh, why? I hit the TNT right there. Whoops. But do not spit on that TNT. Sheesh. Hey, look at that. We didn't die. 
There we go, nice. Let's go get the shield over here from the Aku, or, uh, Aku Aku. Uh, face shield mask thing. <laughs> Basically gives us, uh, where we can take damage and not instantly die. And we can upgrade it, too. I think, what is this? Tier 1 for the shield? I don't know if tier is tier, I don't know if tier- Oh, whoops! Well, yeah, like that. We took some damage, but we didn't die, which is good. I forget what the- how many- how many tiers are for the shield? If it needs to be tier 3 for him to, like, spin around, you're, like, invincible or whatever, or tier 2 is for that. I forget. Hmm, I guess we'll see here in just a bit. And oh, yep, here you go. It's telling me to, 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 to double jump. Yeah, I don't think that was in the uh, crash one that we did here on the channel, so that's new to me at least. It's going to make the platform here a little bit more interesting. And there's that weird volcano thing in the background. What in the world? What were those things? Oh, geez, we're like skating on the rail here. Whoa. Can we can jump. Uh, yep, there you go. Nice. Oh there, oh, there are those creatures there on the sides. I didn't even see them there for a second. Boom, getting all these Wumpa... And I think when you get 100 Wumpa Fruit, you do get an extra life. I don't know how many lives I have right now, but of course we heckin' lost one. <laughs> so I have I have one less than it gives you uh, right off the bat. But we have an Aku Mask over here. Let's go grab him. There you go. So now we can take one hit and still be fine. Let's get uh, more Wumpa Fruit there. And uh, probably spin... Yep, spin that guy. Nice. And I'm pretty sure we can spin these enemies into each other, so we might want to try and, uh... I don't know where that guy went, he's just gone. <laughs> but we might want to spin these... Pull that to crawl. Ooh, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yep, there you go, spun that enemy into another enemy, nice. Yeah, definitely want to try and do that. Now we're in the side-scrolling phase. And, uh, whenever we're in the side-scrolling bit, yeah, definitely don't want to use the heckin' analog stick. It's a little bit better to use the D-pad for that. What's this? Got some crates? Yep. Oh, is there anything else down there? Oh, oh, hey, look at that, there's another mask! I don't know. Hold on. I think... Is this... What is this? This is a bonus, isn't it? Looks like it. Kind of reminds me of the, uh... Oh, yep, bonus! Nice! Boom, there you go! And we jump on this to get this crate up here. Whoop, there you go, nice. Didn't even... <laughs> double jumped right there just to make sure. Boom, there you go. And there's a crate right here that's going to bounce us up in these Wumpa crates. Boom, and hold that for a bigger bounce. Nice! Uh, I don't know how many lives- oh, I have zero lives right now. <laughs> but I think that's just how many lives we got from this. I have, uh, five. What is that skull, though? One skull? I don't know what that means. Seems like a rail- oh, and there's, like, diamonds there. What? But yeah, every time we get a hundred, uh, Wumpa Fruit, then we get another life. Which I don't think that's a thing if you're on the modern mode or whatever. But yeah, we got a tier two mask right now, which is good. So I believe there is three tiers of the mask, not, uh, the other thing I was thinking of earlier. So if we get one more mask, he's going to give us, like, an invincibility thing. Oh, what in the world's happening? The camera's, like, kind of cri- Oh, jeez, there you go. Oh, here are those skulls again. Let me go hit that TNG just because why not? Oh, it didn't even activate- Oh, get him! Oh, get the fruit! Oh, man! I grabbed as many as I could right there, which is, like, one. Oh, man. Well, hey, at least I got another life. You guys saw that? I had five lives. I, get I hit 100 Wumpa Fruit, and we're up to six lives right now, which is good. Okay. Side scrolling time, which means time for the D-pad instead of the analog stick. I already learned that from the first Crash game. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's an enemy up here. Thankfully, we have a mask right now. I don't know if that's a tier one or two. It looks like a tier two. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there you go. I'm not even using the double jumps right now. Boom. Oh, I could have could have jumped on top of that guy's head to get those crates. I might still be able to. Yeah. Oh, I can. Yeah. Let's double jump. Man. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Let's do this double jump. There we go. Got it. All right. Nice. Let's go. Oh, no, I'm going back. I'm going back. <laughs> that was a little bit too late. Hold on. Whoa, whoa! Okay. I guess, I guess they give you a lot of leeway, especially here on the, on the tutorial or whatever, so. There we go, nice. There we go, especially with a double jump. 100 out of 104, what? I missed some Wumpa Fruit somewhere. Man! Rude Awakening, level complete. Nice! 40s, 60s, oh, jeez, gems, and, oh, look at this, they're advertising to me. <laughs> gems unlock skins, earn gems by breaking crates, getting Wumpa, finding hidden crates, and beating levels in three lives or less. Didn't I just do that? So I must have got a skin right there, huh? Four out of six to unlock the skin. Man, three max skull. Almost got all the, uh, the crates, or uh, all the Wumpa fruit there, so that's kind of unfortunate. And there's a hidden thing there, and I can get a heckin' chicken crashed skin, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Let's see, what's it saying? Time trial unlocked, ready? Does that mean I could do it, like, right now? Am I doing the time trial? I don't know if I am or not. Insanity Peak, no, I think we're going on to the next level. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was pretty fun for, like, the tutorial level. Not bad. Uh-oh. We're in the caves now. 
Oh, what is that thing? Oh, it's like, oh, it's an extra life just right off the bat. Nice. Crash crates give an extra- yeah, it's literally telling me that. Yeah, I guess we're still in the tutorial phase. So there's probably a couple levels until it's, uh, oh, okay, here's a swing. It's, uh, so how do I grab onto- oh, I guess you automatically just grab onto it if you just- There you go, if you just crash into the ropes, that's good. There's a big enemy up there. How do I take this guy on? There you go, spin on him, nice. Let's get up- there you go, got on the rope. Oh, we went up to the top of the rope right there. Ooh, nice. That's an interesting little strategy we could do. Oh, what is this? Slide. Ooh, so crawl is just circle, and then with the left stick you can slide. Interesting. There we go, got that guy. Did I hit that? I think I hit that box behind him, but I don't know if there ain't any Wumpa fruit in it. And oh, oh, hold on. It's probably going to teach me, oh, you can climb up and down the ropes here, huh? Uh, maybe. Oh, well, oh, well there was a big, there was a thick fruit. Did you guys see that big old fruit? That was crazy. Oh! No! Man, I died right there! Well, obviously, right? <laughs> oh, let's grab a mask. There you go. Oh! And boom, there you go, nice. Wait for the thing to come back. Let's get on the rope. There you go. I don't know what's best to... Probably not best to climb to the top on whenever you're going on long distances. Might be able to swing a little bit further. Oh, or I could just... Oh, I took damage from that thing. Whoops! <laughs> Why did I take damage? Was there a spike on that one or something? It must have been spiky. Oh, yeah. Oh, man! Oh, is the TNT explosion hit me again. Now I don't have any mask protection. All right, let's get the Wumpa Fruit here, including the big thick one at the top. Let's definitely get that one. This should take us pretty far. Boom, there you go, nice. Made that timing a little bit better and get that checkpoint. Boom. Now how are we going to get this? Spin while standing still. I don't... See, every, every time I see this scenario with the TNT on top of it, I think, oh man, I'm going to spin and it's going to activate the TNT, but... Oh! Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. Just wanted to test it there. You never know, right? Can't be too certain. Oh, oh, oh we got an enemy. Boom, got him. Nice. Oh, oh, there's like a creature in like a... Oh, no! Oh, man, that was close. Come on and jump. Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah, okay, now it's telling me, okay, you can jump from the top of the rope. There you go. And tutorial there. Yeah, look at that. There's like a hamster wheel meme going on right there. <laughs> there's a lot of good stuff going on so far. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, that's definitely, uh... Why did that damage me? It's just a bunch of bones. Just a bunch of bones. Let's see, slide. There you go. I, yeah, if I don't slide all the way, I can still crawl the remaining distance, which is great to know. Oh, what happened there? Oh, it's, okay, it's just interval from on to off and stuff. Interesting. All right, let's go. Oh, there you go. What is this? An extra bonus level over here. Let's go. Go sell some more Wumpa Fruit as well as some more lives. Just because I heckin' lost one right there. Whoops. <laughs> all right. I wonder if all the 2D, uh, or all the bonus levels will be 2D like this. Maybe. While holding C, double jump. Wait, what? Does that mean I can jump? Oh, altitude sickness. Does that mean I can jump higher by crouch jumping? Maybe. There you go. Oh, whoops. That was a bad idea. Oh, go! Oh, man, I saw the extra life up here and I got it. And I got the big, thick wump of fruit, too. Nice. There you go. Got these regular wump of fruit. Some of them are like, uh, they're all like different shapes and stuff, too, which is kind of interesting. They're not all like the same shape wump of fruit. Did I get all of them in here? I think I did. I don't know. Either way, we got another life. Still don't know what that skull is. Hopefully it tells me. Hopefully it's a little bit friendly to people who haven't played 2 and 3. Which I definitely do want to play here in the on the channel here in the future, though, you guys. So that's definitely- Oh my god! Oh, I don't know why I was going, like, right there. Let's go. Go. And go. Oh, that's good. Okay. Whew. Yeah, I got it combined together with the 2D and the 3D platforming over here. Now, how- Okay, just jump on it. Okay, there you go. Nice. I was about to say, I don't want to spit on that or else I'll activate- Oh! Speaking of activating. Which way are we going to go? It looks like it's equally uh, distributed. Oh, oh, there's like a mask or something in the background. It's like sleeping. You guys see that? Let's go. There you go. Let's go to the left side. There you go. Get that. Oh! Oh, man! Oh, my God! No! <laughs> That's very tricky. That's very tricky. Hold on. Let's get the lump of fruit there. Nice. I guess we could just go one path. I don't know if I want to go both paths. Hold on. Let's try and get all the lump of fruit and all the uh, collectibles and whatever else. Let's go here. And, there you go. I guess we could. You guys want to backtrack a bit? Let's go. There you go. And, oh! And this one, oh! Oh man, the depth perception! Golly, this is taking us a couple lives here, you guys. I don't know if we're getting all the Wumpa Fruit, but if we do, hey, that's that extra bonus or whatever, right? So that's good. Oh, don't want to fall off the heckin' map already. Oh, no! No! <laughs> I knew I timed that terribly. Man! Come on, let's get the Wumpa Fruit there again. Okay, this is the last time. I'm not wasting any more lives on this. And let's go, especially because we're playing on, like, retro mode or whatever. Boom. There we get that crate. And I don't know why I'm going to the top here. 
Go, go, go. I don't know why I'm going to top here. It's just TNT. I could just go. Oh, no! Oh! No! Man! All right. Well, we have to go across it anyway, so I guess this is the last try, huh? <laughs> Let's not go into the TNT this time around. Jeez. Hey, we're going to get another life here anyway, so that's good. Let's go. Let's just go left to right, I suppose. That, that makes sense. There you go. Oh, let's go back here. Whew. Just a little bit of a safety net. Oh, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, and let's go. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, oh the depth, man. All right, forget it. <laughs> I'm not addicted, you guys. I'm not addicted, I swear. Let's just go straight forward, or at least just one direction. How are we? Oh, God. I don't know why I'm jumping so early here. It's so obvious what the interval is. Hold on. Let's wait. Well, let's go. Let's go to the left side. And there we go. And let's get the TFT. Ah, oh, no! What? How did I make that? That was crazy. <laughs> let's go here. What is this guy? It's like a weird mask guy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds like me yelling. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh-oh. It's one of these levels where we're running away. Uh-oh. Oh man, I already missed a fruit. Whoops. <laughs> hey, at least we're not running away from a big boulder. We're running away from like a big ghost thing. I don't know what this guy is, but I'm riding. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. There we go. Get all the crates, try and get as many Wumper Fruit as possible, try and get as many lives, extra lives as possible. Nice! That's good. Is he going to... Oh, yep, yep, yep. He oh, no! Oh! Okay, well, I guess you could, you, could, you could spin on that and... There you go. You're, you're still good. You don't have to crawl under it or slide under it or whatever. You're still fine. Oh! No! I took damage that time. No! I didn't jump in time. You know what? Let's, let's just slide under it this time. If we see another one of those, we're sliding. Another checkpoint there. Nice! And we hit the rope! Hey! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Keep going, keep going! Oh! No! Oh, let's slide! There we go. <laughs> this is so crazy! Slide! There you go. Good job there, Crash. Good job, self. Keep going, keep going, keep going! He's catching up with us hardcore! Oh my god, get all the weapon fruit! Get them all! We have a little bit of time. Oh, he's right there! He's right there! Oh! 78 out of 86. Whatever, I don't care. We we made it. We made it to the end. And he's taking some selfies. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this is a modern game, alright. <laughs> Man, I can almost get the, uh, what looks like, a, is that Coco with a unicorn skin or something crazy? Three out of six diamonds for that. Three max, I, I still don't know what that thing is. I, I wonder if it's going to tell me. I probably have to literally look it up and see what that is. We got the time trial unlocked, though, so that's good. Nice! All right. Guess we'll do a third level, and this will be the conclusion of the first episode. Huh. Hey. 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 No, 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 no way. Not in a million years. Get him off, get him off, get him off. Crash, who is that? Lonnie Loli? If the quantum masks have returned, then... Hey, Aku, how's it going? Is that a quantum rift? It appears to be a door between dimensions. Yes, yes, the kind we keep shut. We have to go through, find my siblings, and fix this before some putz with a big evil plan and a bigger ego does something monumentally stupid! Oh my god! Uka Uka unknowingly paved the way for our bright future. Once my rift generator is complete, dominion over all of time and space will be within our grasp! Engine embryo. You had some little projects you wanted to tell me about? Master, my mechanical marvel will hypnotize you and I. Then my potion will make me and them unstoppable. Right, you're fine, Joe. Sure. Have fun with your ray guns or whatever. <laughs> Hasten your steps. By my calculations, our enemies are already moving against us. And we will prevail. Whoa. Yeah, man, I, I wish I played the second and third game and actually understood, <laughs> like, the lead up to this. It's just kind of throwing me into the story here, so that's why I kind of want to go back and play it. Maybe everything will make a little bit more sense after that, huh? 
Hey, look at that. Now we're actually on the map. There's a little crab down there, too. Dimensional map. Welcome to the dimensional map. Here you can select levels to play. Switch between Qua Crash and Coco. Change skins and replay levels to take on time trials. Excellent. I like how the button says excellent. Now where are we going? Oh. The next dimensional map is like a desert theme or something. Like a Mad Max meme. Clang. What? And I guess we have that opened. Nice. Insanity Peak. And this was the tutorial stuff. Yep, Rude Awakening there, and yeah, I can go back and do the time trials and stuff like that. And now I'm sliding on the heckin' Hazardous Wastes 2084. I guess this is what it looks like in 64 years, you guys. Whoops. <laughs> this is crazy. I guess if we do the first uh, level over here, we have a skins thing here. I wonder what we have. Oh, we don't have the chicken. Are you kidding me? Unlocked with the Rude Awakening. What was this one? Beat the game for that one. That's just straight up just casual right there. I can change between Crash and Kill. You know what? Let's be Coco for this one. We haven't been Coco just yet, so let's go back. I guess we'll do a real grind over here in the Hazardous Wastes 2084. Almost at 2086. So let's just jump right in. And, uh, a real grind. Beat level to unlock, like, an engine, like, skin for Crash, which is crazy. <laughs> All right, well, let's just jump into this. Boom. I wonder if uh, Coco basically gets the same amount. Oh, no, 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 I think she has different skins. I think one of the levels was like, oh, Coco with like a, a unicorn skin. So I think she has like her own skins and he crashes his own skins. So that's kind of interesting. So it does make sense to play both of them. So that's good that we're kind of going back and seeing what Coco is all about here. Even though she's like the same, it's just that, you know, she's a different character. But I wonder if you could play as anyone else. Because the original one, or at least the first one that we played, you could only play as Crash and Coco. So I wonder if there are any other characters we could play as. We need the other masks to close the rifts? Correct. Now, my brother Akano is around here somewhere. Welcome to the show, there, man. Looking for your precious masks. Uh, behold, the aforementioned putts. Don't worry. We have a thing where we fight, he loses. It's a well-established dynamic. Not this time. I've got a backstage pass for you to get up close and personal with my rapper of mass percussion. I'm ready to rock! Mass percussion. Uh -huh. R2 or... Oh, phase world. What? Ooh. Interesting. Now why would I want to use this? It's an interesting, uh... Mechanic thus far, but boom, there you go. Just, just phase it while I'm standing there. And then boom. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, I can see it now. So I could jump and then phase and then boom and then phase it back. Then phase. Oh! Over jumped. Hey, I got it! <laughs> I got it while I was double jumping right there. That's funny. Man! Oh, so I assume I have. How's it say? Uh, oh, there it is right there. I can check how many uh, things we have. And I can see how many boxes we have and Wumpa Fruit and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. Boom, there you go. Oh, I didn't even get these. Yeah, they respawn back in, huh? There you go. Nice. Well, that's kind of an interesting little mechanic. Is this where we died? I think so. So, uh, do I want to try it again? I guess we try it. Just kind of practice a little bit. Oh, that was like a last second millisecond. That was crazy. There you go. Yeah, you can see where the... Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a cliff over here. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, you definitely see where the, uh, the shadow mechanic kind of comes into play there. So, there you go. I guess I can stand here. That automatically breaks. <laughs> I just broke his speaker there so he can't yell at me. Megaphoning it in. Nice. All right, well, let's see. Boom, are these going to be temporary or... I don't know, but I'm gonna phase these in. Boom. There you go. And go to the right side and get a mask. Oh, whoops. Oh! How are you supposed to- Oh! That's tricky. I didn't see the box itself. Oh, and yeah, we didn't even get a teleport or a checkpoint just yet. That's interesting. I'm liking these, like, new mechanics that's introducing to us. Or at least new to me. They may be in, like, two and three. And they're just kind of reintroducing them in this game slowly but surely, you know? But there you go. Uh, I guess I can go to get these. There you go. Oh! <laughs> I didn't get, yeah, see, this is something you need to do with the 3D platformers. You have, you have to get the depth perception just right to make sure you can actually jump and land where you want to land. Jeez. Let's, you know what? Let's not get, let's not do it this time. Let's not do it. We, oh, God. Almost did that one way too early. Sheesh. All right, let's get this one because it's pretty and safe. So there you go. Nice. Is he going to yell at us through a megaphone again? I think he is. And there you go. Nice. And boom. Not anymore. All right. Now, how are we going to do that, though? How are we going to get that crate? So, can I jump? And then... Oh, then the double jump there. Nice. Now, I guess I can go back and get this, because that's that's an easy way to... There we go. Nice. And boom. And then we have, like, some elevator here. Look at that little crowd. Oh, he's so scared. Oh. Let's go down. How do we go down? Jump. I have no idea. 
Hold on. Is there a... Did it tell me something and I was like... Oh, oh, crawl. I have no idea. Hold on. What if I just fall? Whoa! There you go. Hey, checkpoint. Yeah, I don't know. I might have missed something there. Hold on. Is there a... What are the settings like? There may be some settings here. Sound. Music. Uh, voice. I think it's... No, I don't know. I'll keep it as is. Video. Is there a thing? Motion blur is on. Ooh. I don't know if I want it on or off. I'll turn it off and see how I like that. Then controls, control vibrate. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Jump, secondary, primary, mask power. Ooh, mask power. I guess maybe we'll that'll, that'll come into play a little bit later on, huh? And then gameplay, playstyle right. Oh, you can change the playstyle right here. I thought it was like a one-time thing at the very beginning or something like that. Enhanced shadow, so you can turn that on and off. So I guess I guess if we just have the shadow itself instead of that yellow ring, if we hurt, if we just turn it off, huh? You know what, I'll turn that off, and we'll see how it's like, without the motion blur, and with the regular shadow, so let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, you can't even see the shadow, like, too easily. Oh, whoa! I don't know what just happened. Man, my capture just died for a second, whoops. <laughs> Alright, we're back. And there's a TNT right there, I don't know why I'd want to phase that in, but whatever, there you go. And let's go! There you go, nice. Yep, you're dead. Or at least your megaphone is. Hey, we got another life. That's good. What are these? Oh, God. I didn't see there's two of them there. Oh, go, 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 go. Yeah, look at this. This is safe right here. Nitros. Yeah, nitros explode on touch. Is there a bonus around here? I might have missed a bonus, unfortunately. Just looking right now. I don't know if I want the motion blur or what. I'm not seeing anything too crazy, honestly. Oh. Whoa. I didn't know that was like a metal crate right there. Interesting. Now, what is this thing? Oh, it's one of these uh, peril things. Okay, interesting. While holding. Oh. Okay, so we can do the crouch jump again here. There you go, and that's how we get up to the year. Then we can jump, 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 and then phase. Boom, nice. There's a nitro right there. And there you go, nice. So how do we, uh... Ooh, interesting. So you can go through walls and stuff like that. Interesting. Does Coco have a special outfit or something? I don't think I changed her skin. I thought we'd have... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought we'd have, like, a normal Coco skin. There you go. I had to get that timing just right. Barely got it there. Oh, wait! Oh, that's the mask ability! Yeah, we don't have that mask anymore, do we? Oops. Stupid megaphone. Now, how do we... Oh! It automatically just puts you on the uh, the rail here. Interesting. All right. Jump. I wonder if this is a thing from uh, 2 or 3. I'm going to be saying that a lot. How, oh, oh, geez. So this is how we hang. Circle is how we hang, and then... Hang and then unhang. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so I have to get used to switching between the two and then jumping, then hang. And then unhang, and then jump, and then hang. And then unhang, and then jump. Oh, man. Ah, I get the timing just... Oh, man, a big thing of spikes right there. Almost just died. Whoa, got like a golden wuppa free right there. Nice. X and O to slam. That's probably what we had to do back there with that elevator-looking thing, but, like, I couldn't do it, unfortunately. How do I, uh... I don't want to do it right here. There's a TNT. So, uh... Oh, I'll activate the TNT. I don't know if it's going to explode those other crates, though. Let's see. Oh! No, it didn't. Okay, so X and O... So, okay, so we could we could slam the crates that look like they're wood in the middle, but they're like reinforced with like steel or something like that. I guess we could do it for them. Interesting. What about this one? Ooh, okay, so this one activates hit exclamation point crates to fill in outlines. Okay, yeah, that's obvious. We already know that, so that's that's good that they're introducing that. And we can get these crates here, but this is like a 3D platforming bit right here. I'm like the whole game is 3D platforming, but. There you go. <laughs> Need to make sure I get the depth perception just right. Hang. Oh, and go right back up. And jump. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to hang right there. Whoops. Oh, man, I'm all the way back here. Man. All right, let's activate the TNT. Just kind of get that going. Uh, There you go. And, uh. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there's a crate up there. I wanted to see. Hold on. I guess the splash of the, uh, hold on. Oh, I couldn't get that, man. But the splash of the uh, the slam attack or whatever is pretty heckin' big, and I was able to activate that TNT, unfortunately, so that sucks. <laughs> Alright, so I activate that TNT to explode, boom, and uh, we can slam. Boom. I don't know how to get that crate up there, though. Like, oh, whoa! I can slide in midair. Ooh, slide jump? Hold on, it didn't teach us that yet. Hold on, let's see. How did I do that? Jump? How did I do that? I don't know how I did that. If I jump and then... Hmm. I don't know how I just did that. It may, okay, it's probably going to teach us here in just a bit, though. So I probably shouldn't be like, oh, man, how am I going to figure it out? It'll just tell me. I'm pretty sure. So here we go. Make sure I don't have to mess this up. Oh, oh, I missed a crate. Oh, no, I want to go back. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's just go. There we go. Okay, let's not mess this one up this time. 
<laughs> Let's get the hang. And there we go. And then we jump. There you go. Nice. And we jump again. All right. Then hang. And then go right back up and jump over to the side. Oh, that was late. Wait, what? Oh, I could swing. Ooh, interesting. I could swing my body left and right like that. Oh, make sure we're set. What? How did that? Her head is inside the rail. Oh, I'm all the way back here again. Man. All right, I'm activating the TNT like right now. I'm going to do this. There. Oh, well, that's how you slide. Uh, yeah, I, I, whatever. It'll, it'll teach me. Let me just get these crates here, just because I need every last one for you to get as many lives as possible, right? <laughs> Jeez. Hey, look at that. I got two crates right there from one slam. That's good. Nice. Right, let's get these crates here. Whoop. 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 There we go. Nice. And make sure we won't mess up this rail bit up here, you guys. There we go. All right, let's go. Oh, man. It looked like I was about to heckin' slip off right there. Let's hang. Boom. There you go. Nice. And then go right. Go right. Go right. There you go. And left. Nice. Hang for a second. Go right back up and go. Go. What? Man, it's like I have to, I have to really get used to the whole. Uh, oh, and then we swing. There you go. And swing right. Swing left. And then stay in the center. That's good. Now, how does this work? Back up top. Hang. Up top. Oof. And jump. And a big, thick wumpa fruit. Nice. Oh, there's like a robot guy. And here's a bonus level right here. What is this bonus? Or a uh, robot guy? Was, like, was that a panda? I don't know, but he's dead now. Well, we have a bonus level here. Let's see where this takes us. I don't think we've... Yeah, we, don't, we haven't done a bonus level as Coco just yet. So this is going to be interesting. And now we have the, uh... The phase thing right here. Yeah, so yeah, we have the mask activated here. So that's interesting. So let's see. How are we going to do this? Whoop. Got it. Nice. And then I'll activate this. And then, uh, there you go. Activate that phase. Nice. And... Oh! Oh! And then phase again. Oh! Alright. That's good. Let's see. Oh! Oh my god! Holy jeez! That is crazy! Oh no! I fell off! Well, oh man, I lost all those Wampa Fruit! Man! That's tricky! That's tricky! I thought I thought I had to phase between two of those uh, Wampa Crates that you could bounce on and stuff. Maybe that's what you have to do? I don't know, but we'll see here in just a bit. Hold on, there we go, we have that now, so that's good. So, uh, there you go, grab that, and then, uh, boom. Then, uh, boom. Oh, no! Oh, no! Man! <laughs> I should have double jumped there, I didn't double jump. Man! Ah, uh, let's try it again. How many lives do I have? Hold on, how do I check that? Eight lives, okay, that's good. I'm not teleporting, here we go. 79 out of 153, I don't know if that's anywhere near on track to get all of them. And I think that, I think that counts bonus, too. Like, if you want to get every Wumpa Fruit ever, then you have to get the bonus. Uh, there you go. Let's get a double jump just to make sure. There you go. And then let's phase. There you go. Nice. All right. And let's do this. There you go. And so how's this work? Oh, no! Freezing the dough! Man! <laughs> I need to get this turning better. Oh, no. This first bit right here, at least it gives you an extra life. So, you know, it, we're basically net pot, net, 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 net. What do you call it? How do I check the lives again? It's not, what was that button, wasn't it? I don't know. It's not letting me check the lives right now, but, uh, you know, net neutral whenever we uh, die on this level. So that's good, right? <laughs> Let's double jump. Jump on this. Phase it back. There you go. Nice. I'm using triangle, by the way, to phase these in and out and stuff. So I, oh, <laughs> I am so jump that he gave me. Oh. Well, I think you can check here how many lives you have, right? Yeah, see, we still have eight, so at least in the end, we're not going to lose any lives by doing this over and over and over. So that's good. And uh, if we do this successfully, hey, we'll have an extra life in the end. So I guess it's a win-win there, or at least a, a neutral win, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Either way. Oh, <laughs> I phased into the TNT. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that, man. And let's go. Oh, no, I hit the one. Eh, not that big of a deal. Get this one right here. Nice. Let's jump. Get that. Phase him. There you go. Nice. And there we go. That's good timing right there. Now, what is that? Oh, no. <gasps> man, you got to be kidding me. Oh, man. I was trying to see what that box was up there. Yeah, it is another one of those crates you could jump on back and forth. So you can jump. But I think I, I could phase while I'm inside of it and it'll break it. So I don't even need to, like, do that. So let's see if I can even do that. I don't know if I'm skilled enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. There we go. There we go. Nice. And let's not phase the TNT while we're on top of it, right? And... Oh! Okay, so it doesn't explode the TNT that are around it. That's interesting. Wait, what? How did that explode me? I wasn't even inside the TNT. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, 
no, I slammed through it. Oh no, I hit the wrong buttons. Oh man. But hey, it worked. I, I spun, spun into the first box and killed it, which is good. But I, I, I don't think you get as many uh, Wampa Fruit from doing that. But hey, at least it was destroyed, right? Oh. Oh! Oh man, I'm jumping. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, I'm over here now though, so that's good. Oh, this is basically the end too, you guys. How do I do this? Uh, crouch and then jump? Yeah, okay. Yeah, look at that. Crouch jumping is definitely higher. That's interesting. So there you go. Can I even make it to that? I can! Ooh, interesting. So, uh, ba-boom. Got all the- man, you can break a lot of crates, like, right next, next to each other. Nice. Okay, so the golden wumpa fruit is a bonus fruit. There is a wumpa box thing over there that I missed out on, but whatever. I could phase this and, uh, boom, get that right there, but... Whatever, at least we got two lives right there. We're up to ten. <laughs> So, I'd say that was a success. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot TNT crates count as crates you have to destroy during those bonus, uh, bonus things, so. Man. As well as, I think, in the regular, uh, levels, too. Hold on, hold on. Looks like there's an area to the left. Oh, yep, there is. What is this? Is this where you have to go? What's over there? Is this actually where we're supposed to go? Maybe. Hold on, who's that? Was well, an engine minion or whatever. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think I'm able to do anything there, you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the left, actually. Just because it looks like it might. Oh, whoa! How did I, how did I say it? No! Oh my god, I was about to be like, how did I save that right there? But it didn't work. Ugh. Man, that sucks. Well, hey, there you go. We got the mask. Let's go. There you go, nice. Go to the barrel. There's another Robo Panda over here. And there's that Robo Panda. Let's get him. Get the Robo Panda. Got him. Nice. And there's a crab in a weird, like. Th oh, no, I, I spun this crab away. There's another uh, missile guy up there we need to watch out for. He's throwing the. You can see where he's throwing the bombs. So we just go. Oh, 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 how, how big of an area is the... Okay, not that big of an area. That's good. Might be able to get him, though. Oh, I got him! Nice! There's a robo Panda right there. Hold on. Is that a robot or is that a zombie? I can't tell. What is that? It looked like a panda for a minute because of the eyes and stuff, you know? Hmm. Boom! There you go. Got him. And we get this crate. And we can go down here and then boom. So I think... Yeah, I think that was basically like a bonus area. Kind of me... I think right here is where it... Uh, if I just went straight, this is where it goes anyway, so I guess I'll get that TNT going. Boom. And you're gone. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's try and time this just right. Because those those oil barrels only last a certain amount of time. Those sand sharks, there's two of them that come out. Oh, I timed that pretty well. That's good. Nice. Let's get that TNT to go. There we go. Let's try and get rid of that guy. Nice. Oh, don't get exploded. Nice. That's good. That's good. <laughs> there's a checkpoint up there, though, so that's great. Try and get these sand sharks timed just right. There you go. Oh no! Oh, once again! With the depth perception. You kidding me? Oh, man. Hold on, was there an area? Let's see. I see something over here. Oh, it's just a bonus. If I wanted to do it again, I guess maybe? I don't know. Or maybe that means, okay, you completed the bonus. So, uh, anyways, let's go this way again. Man. Hey, at least we're getting a lot more. Oh! Oh, yeah, and of course you can jump on top of them too, so not that big of a deal if, uh, I don't spin him and kill him. There we go. Oh, okay. How I might be able to, uh, how'd I do? Oh, we'll do not do it that time. But yeah, I, I think I can crouch jump up there. So, uh, yep, there you go. There you go, nice. And I guess I can spin this guy away if I really want to. Oh, got him right there, nice. And spin him, got him. And let's jump down here. Jump down, is that even a thing? I'm like, if we just, I guess, you, I guess it is, right? <laughs> you jump and then you fall. There you go. Let's get that speaker. Even though he's not yelling through it this time around. There you go. Come on, get the sharks. Time just... No! The, oh, man, the explosion there. That was crazy timing there, you guys. Holy heck. Get the TNT to start going. Get that... Oh, no! Oh, we killed him with the robot. Or, uh, killed him with the TNT right there. Nice. And let's get the sand sharks just right. And there they go. Let's go. Let's go! And... Now we can phase again. Nice. All right, now how do I slide again? Hold that to crawl. Wait, what? Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah, I forgot we could phase. So let's get these. There you go. Guess he's one for free here just because, hey, why not, right? There you go. Slide through that. Oh, uh, you're done. So we, uh, do these platforms move? I don't think they do. But there are the sand sharks there. So, uh, phase and phase. Oh, man. Hold on. I need to go back. I need to get him. Sand shark right there. Oh, more more crates, more Wumpa Fruit. And got another crate right there, that's good. I don't know if I want to go back and get that one, you guys. Let's do it. Oh, man, we're risking. We're risking everything for the hacking crate right there. Sheesh. All right, let's go. This is going to be kind of tricky. I'm liking this uh, gameplay mechanic, though. 
Uh, I'm glad that didn't kill me right there, because I was, like, inside the platform. So there you go. How do I go to the left? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how to get up to there. Hold on. Uh, I guess I could... I don't know. I don't know if that would do anything. I don't know how to get up to those crates to the left. You guys see that? That was kind of right crazy. Oh, man! Oh! 133 out of 153. Hey, we're here at the end. We did it! First try and everything. <laughs> Coco's dancing and everything. Ladies first trophy. And we did about as well as we did with Crash. And yeah, this is where we get the Crash engine skin, so... Hey! Wasn't too bad right there. Replay and continue. Yeah, I guess we'll continue on, so, uh... There you go, continue. Alright. I guess that's going to be it for the first episode here of Crash 4. It's about time. I had some good fun today, playing around with the, uh, the new game, the new game mechanics and all that kind of stuff. Oh, there's Engen. All the way over there at the end of the map. Looks like he's going to be the boss battle. We, I don't think we've actually done a proper boss battle. And of course we could switch. There you go, with uh, Square, so that's interesting. I don't think we've had an actual boss battle just yet, unless you count that one, like, rolling, uh... That one thing we're running away from as a boss battle, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I, it was kind of in the- it was- well, we're still in the tutorial phase, like, on that level we just did, so... I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I think that's going to be a great place to leave off this episode, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out, so you don't miss an episode. Oh man, there's these like keys over here you have to get to, the sapphire and the uh, gold and the, the the platinum key, I think those were called. Man. And by the way, my initials for the, it asked me for like three initials for my name and I just put WFL for waffle. <laughs> and you see I'm playing on retro mode too. Pass and play. Yeah, there's like an interesting thing here where you can pass and play, which is kind of interesting. I, I think that's for like couch, like not couch co-op, but like couch if you want to let someone else play. You do pass and play and then the other person starts playing, which is interesting. But I'm not doing that. This is a single player. I'm just passing it and playing it with myself, I guess, if I do that right. <laughs> Either way, I don't know where I was in my outro, but thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Crash 4. It's about time. We're going to continue on here in the hazardous wastes in the year 2084 and try and get to the second mask to stop these dimensional rifts from opening up. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.